Okay, today I want to show you how you can automate uh, making some plots in R. So we're going to make a plot like this uh, automatically without typing these data in every time. Um, so I'm just going to clean up my workspace here. Uh, we'll clear all the plots. Uh, we'll clear this. And we'll clear the history down here. Okay. Now let's get started here. So the first thing I'm going to do is set my working directory. I'm just going to copy and paste the path to where I have some snow water equivalent data to there. And we'll run that. Use control enter uh, to run lines from the code editor over in the console. So sweloss.csv is our file. Want to read data? We'll just call it data raw equals read dot csv fn header is true and the separator equals a comma. Okay. Um, so let's run that and let me just show you what our data look like. Uh, so we've got elevation, these different hydrologic unit numbers, and then we have these maximum values for snow water equivalent and estimated losses for snow water equivalent. And I just want to plot up histograms of the distributions of these maximum values. Um, so we'll show you how we do that next. So we have our data. So we're going to use par to set up the number of rows in our in our col uh, rows and columns here. So two rows, two columns uh, in our chart area. Okay, now uh, those were columns four through seven we wanted to plot. So four I and four seven curly braces. We want to make a hist of data raw column I. And it's really that simple. Um, one thing we may want to do is run dev dot off, and that will just clear anything in par or any charts we already may have made. We already have going, so I'm just going to run that. It says cannot shut down device one, the null device. So I was already good. Um, it's safe to run just in case. So let's run these things again. Got data raw read in. Run par and then run our loop. Okay, and there you go. You can see I have these histograms uh, all laid out, four of them, each in their own little deal there. You can, you know, add things in there to adjust these uh, labels. And we're going to do a little bit of that right now. I want to show you the one with 12 plots. So uh, four plots might not be such a big deal to, to do manually just have a line of code for each one, but if we're doing 12, that's quite a lot. So let's take a look at that. Oh, and then I'm just going to copy this line. We'll just overwrite data raw. Um, okay, so first I'm going to set up some margins using par, which I use with the mar. Um, and I'm going to give all the margins a value of 2. And then let's go uh, MF row. So here I'm setting up my rows and columns. So I have 12 plots. So I'm going to do 4 rows and 3 columns. Now before I go on, let's just take a look at uh, these data. They're a little different than the ones I showed previously. Okay, so you can see we have elevation a value for snow water equivalent, and a year. These elevations are in meters, snow water equivalent values are in millimeters, uh, and years go from 2004 to 2015. And what I'm trying to do is I want a plot of elevation on the x-axis, snow water equivalent on the y-axis for each year. Okay? Okay, so we've got our par set up. Um, with our margins and the number of rows and columns. And 
So now I'm going to set the loop that does this. So for i in, and I want the minimum of data raw here. And I could just put in uh, 2004. But this way, if my data change but are set up the same, I don't have to make any changes to my code. Uh, so I'm going from the minimum year to the maximum year. Curly braces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new data frame for each year. So I'm going to subset my data raw. Um, and I want to subset it to the place where data raw year equals i. So i is going to range from 2004 to 2015. And for each of those, I'm just going to make a new data frame uh, that contains only the data for that year. And then I'm going to plot elevation and snow water equivalent. Okay, now let's make sure all this works. So I'm going to need to run dev off over here. And see how that got rid of my plot. Now let's run par the margins, the rows, and then we'll run our loop here. This will take a second. It's a little bit bigger plot. Okay going there it is and I'll pull this up a little bigger just so we can see what it looks like here yeah so there you can see that I have elevation or elevation on my x-axis uh, and snow water equivalent on my y-axis but what if I want to uh, have those labels show up easy enough to do. Let's just edit uh, our plot call to do that. So our x label equals elevation in meters. Our y label equals uh, peak snow water equivalent in millimeters. And the main title we want to equal year. Okay, so uh, let's turn that off again. Just to make sure those are set. And we'll run our code one more time. Here we go, taking just a minute to run. All right. And there it is. And we'll show you it to you bigger again. Okay, now you can see my elevations still are not showing up on there, and that's because the margins aren't big enough. Um, we can try to adjust those here real quick. Uh, but notice that my labels are showing up for year. And let's see if we can adjust those margins. So let's make that four, and let's make that four. Uh, let's go dev off. Let's run this again. And there you can see that, uh, I'll make it big, but you can see that we have the axis labels on there. Yep, so there's our elevation and there's our peak snow water equivalent. And so that's how you can automate making some of these graphs that might be kind of painful to do 12 times otherwise. Hope you enjoy.